Hello, my name is Dwight Dory, and I'm the National Chief of the Congress of Aboriginal Peoples. Et moi, je suis le sénateur Laurier Lapierre. We are here to introduce you to Moccasin Walk 2, the celebration of the 30th anniversary of the Congress of Aboriginal Peoples. Lors de cet événement, j'ai été le maître de cérémonie qui a réuni plusieurs artistes aborigènes et non aborigènes, des comédiens et tout ça. C'était une soirée sensationnelle. And we hope through this video production that you will share in our celebration and pride of the off-reserve Aboriginal people in this country and the organization that has been representing them for three decades. J'espère que ce programme va vous plaire et aussi vous allez pouvoir partager notre fierté envers le Congrès des Aborigènes aux réserves qui depuis 30 ans sert si bien la population. Merci. So please enjoy as we did in making it. Well, Alan, merci. Thank you. Mesdames et messieurs, je vous souhaite la bienvenue and I welcome you to Moccasin Walk 2, a celebration of the 30th anniversary of the Congress of the Aboriginal Peoples. Mesdames et messieurs, je vous souhaite la bienvenue à cette célébration du 30e anniversaire du Congrès des peuples autochtones. Et nous sommes très heureux d'avoir avec nous, parmi tant d'autres délégations, les peuples de l'Alliance autochtone du Québec. Merci bien d'être avec nous. I also want to add that this evening, Moccasin Walk 2 is being webcast live. Now, since Brian Tobin is not here, I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> but it is webcast live on the Aboriginal Canada portal. <laughs> the only good thing about this sentence is that thousands of people who are not here will also enjoy this evening. So that's a great thing. It is made possible to the courtesy of the federal interlocutor for Métis and non-status Indians. A remarkable band from Saskatchewan, and I had something with this election. I was then in Saskatchewan doing something or other, and I interviewed him, and he won. <laughs> it has little to do with him. It has to do with the brilliance of my interview. <laughs> the Honorable Raf Goodale, who could not be here this evening, but he has a message for us, so please look on the screens. Mr. Goodale. Hello, this is Ralph Goodale. In my role as federal interlocutor for Métis and non-status Indians, I want to offer my sincere congratulations on this, the 30th anniversary of the Congress of Aboriginal Peoples, formerly the Native Council of Canada. I bring warm greetings from the Prime Minister and the Government of Canada. Your organization has been a crucial player in many of the key developments involving Aboriginal peoples in this country. The passage of Bill C-31 and the 1982 constitutional recognition of Aboriginal peoples are two of the most prominent examples that come to mind and you continue to advocate on behalf of your constituents in a manner that is reasoned and focused and strong. Much of your success over the past three decades can certainly be attributed to the dedication of many, many individuals, both leaders and workers alike, who have made it their lifelong work in some cases to champion the causes and add strength to the voice that is now the Congress of Aboriginal Peoples. I salute them all. And this year, CAP is embarking on a new endeavor, the Moccasin Walk Foundation Against Racism. The Government of Canada is proud to partner with you on this. Certainly, there is no better time for the Moccasin Walk Foundation to do whatever is needed to combat racism and increase tolerance and understanding. All of Canada's citizens deserve no less than the utmost respect for who they are. And I wish you very well in this initiative. Once again, my congratulations to the Congress on this 30th anniversary milestone. And to your Chief and President Dwight Dore and your Executive, please continue your very good work. All the very best. It's astonishing how well you look with the Canadian flag in the background. I will now like to introduce, j'aimerais beaucoup vous présenter maintenant certains invités d'honneur. I would like now to introduce some special guests who have graced us with their presence. 
And it says here, ask each to stand and take a bow, and you are to withhold your applause until I've introduced them all. Now, no one ever listens to that, and thank God they don't. <laughs> and however, they always put it in. I've done these things a million times, and they always do that. And as soon as you mention some person's name, everybody applauds. So I would like expect you to do that, especially for the first one that I applaud. Otherwise, you're in deep trouble, OK? <laughs> But I do want them to stand up and take a bow, okay? We will begin, ladies and gentlemen, and we are greatly honored to have with us the Honorable Robert Nolt, Minister of Indian Affairs, and his wife, Madame Lana Bolt. <laughs> Sir, we thank you, and we know that this office is prophetic, because the Prime Minister of our country presently used to be the Minister of uh, of Indian Affairs, and consequently, sir, you're bound to follow in his footsteps, and therefore, this, your destiny has been determined. My friend, the Honorable Sheila Copps, Minister of Canadian Heritage, had planned to attend this evening, but there's some difficulties that have occurred, and she's not able to be here, and she has asked me, as her friend and a person who I admire very, very much, to wish you well and to hope that you will continue to do what it is that you are doing and she will continue to help you with the same degree of enthusiasm as she has done in the past. Madame Sheila Copps, ladies and gentlemen. We have also with us a well-known Canadian who has traveled to Ottawa tonight just to be with Moccasin Walk and to honor our dear friend, the director of our show, who you will meet later, Madame Jocelyne Riaume. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Madame Chantal Quevriasso. I now have another pleasant duty this evening, and I would like to ask Chief Dory, who is a, our chief, and he wears the most magnificent coat. Oh, oh. <laughs> and the most magnificent pants. His shoes are no help. <laughs> However, before the evening is over, I may steal his coat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Dory to come forward for a special presentation. <laughs> Sergeant Bernard, please come up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Bernard is the father of Betty Ann Lavallee, who is the president of New, the New Brunswick Aboriginal People's Council. Madame Lavallee, is she here? Is she here? Yes, she's here. Please stand up. Aye! <laughs> Our elder, Chief Dory, will now present the United Nations Peacekeeping Medal to Se Ser Sergeant Bernard, who has served our country in Korea, Germany, Egypt, and Canada. So please join me and Chief Dory in congratulating Sergeant Jack Bernard. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is really a very special evening. We are celebrating 30 years of accomplishment by the Congress of Aboriginal Peoples, formerly the Native Council of Canada, and the people who have made it into the formidable national Aboriginal political organization it has become. Because I am one of your elders, and because I'm so old, I can't remember yesterday. I would like uh, to say to you that uh, for many, many years, I used to be associated for the Native Council of Canada when I was much younger, and I could remember the day after tomorrow. <clears throat> and I am here tonight, not only because Peter Connolly and other people have asked me to be here, 
but largely because I wanted to honor what it is that you have done. And what it is that you have done, there have not been many people around to help you to do it. And now the time has come for that to happen. A considerable number of our native peoples, of our first people, live in urban centers off reserves. More and more of them will come from year to year. And the time has come for us as a people, as a nation dedicated to diversity and to the rights of diversity, to recognize the inalienable right of an Aboriginal person to exercise those rights wherever it is that that person lives. I am a French Canadian, and I have rights by virtue of the fact that I am a French Canadian. And I can go and settle anywhere in these countries, and these rights are to be recognized. If I were an Aboriginal person, this would not be the case. And I'm not going to allow this to take place for a longer time than it has already taken far too long. It is not of dealing with the Aboriginal people. I mean, that is such an absurd statement. It is largely to recognize individual and collective rights for people who have been here for thousands upon thousands of years and who have made it possible for us to live here in harmony because they are sharing the land and their possession with us. It is imperative that Canadians have that written loud and loudly in their hearts and in their legislation in the recognition of the courts so that this will take place and we shall meet not to repair history but to meet fully and completely our destiny. None of us would be here had it not been for the First Peoples to teach us how to live on this land, how to share it and how to protect it. Il est absolument inconcevable que l'on puisse passer beaucoup de temps à discuter ce qui est très vrai. And so, Mr. Minister, the day will come sooner than people may have expected in this room that, sir, you will close the circle and all of our people will be gathered unto you, sir. The day will come for that, and you will be the minister of all the Aboriginal peoples of our country. And I wish you well in that task, Mr. Minister. In the space of an hour, we hope to tell our story. It's my story, you know. It's not only your story, Mr. Chief. It's not only your story. It's my story, you know. Because of you, sir, I have been here for thousands and thousands of years. You know, I inherited when I came in the 17th, middle of the 17th century. I inherited you, and you inherited me, and there's no way in hell you're going to get rid of me. But I also want to tell you that since this is a gala evening, with the emphasis on the word celebration, we mean to have fun. We are also here to entertain you and us all to the best of the ability of the great artists whom you are going to meet. This is a party. I repeat, this is a party. You will not, hey, come on guys. You will not be allowed to leave the room for smoking. <laughs> the party takes place here. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is now the time for you to step into our moccasins and enjoy 
the show.